This is the fight of the champions. Ready? Oh, I hit the limit of so Wait till we get to the next dual carriageway. Yes, yes, my lovelies. Check out this. Oh, quilted leather, and apparently I'm number 22. I'm not sure who number 22 is, but allegedly that's me. Welcome back to the channel, my lovelies. We're not actually doing any motorsport events for about a month. I got my first drift day booked on the 12th of January and Jamie and I are also doing a track day at Brands Hatch in the next couple of weeks. This is the place we are going to. Total Custom Conversions. Gonna go and meet a nice chap called Rich who I've been speaking to over the last couple of weeks. If you wanna give him a cheeky little follow, feel free. <laughs> Sorry I haven't been around for the last few months. I've been kind of away, just taking a little bit of a break. You guys will know from the previous Drift Diaries episode that I've always been staying in hotels and spending quite a lot of money on accommodations. So the main reason really behind getting this van was to kind of find a, a sort of a solution. So when I get to tracks, I can kind of pitch up, I can stay in the van. I've got a double bed in here. I've got a toilet, a shower. I've got a cooker, a fridge and a freezer. So you've pretty much got everything you need to stay trackside at events. I want to do a couple of little bits of the interior, but the main thing today with total custom conversions is just to try and fix all the little problems, uh, just to make my life a little bit nicer once we get to the uh, once we get to the track. I've chucked my Instagram here and my Facebook as well. So if you guys want to head down and, and give it a follow, give it a like, comment on some of the pictures, really, really appreciate it. And same goes for my YouTube channel. You can tell we're in Britain, traffic lights everywhere. I'm gonna grab a little bit of diesel for the old beast. It's actually a extra long wheelbase as well. So you get short wheelbase, medium wheelbase, long wheelbase, and then this is extra long wheelbase. Wolf race alloys, nice wind deflectors, tinted windows. Quickly show you guys in the back so you can sort of see what I was on about. This is a full garage. That's my toilet down there. Quilted leather. Pretty nice, you've got the little side bars or the side like running bars down the side. You've got all the little lights. There's an awning up here as well. I haven't actually got the awning out. That's pretty cool though for a drift events. You can kind of pull that out and get a bit of cover. And you've got little cool things like an LED light bar on the back as well. How's the party van? Still doing. Start her up, man. All right, sir, how you doing? You all right? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. What's that toy for? <laughs> Definitely going to be down on a bit of pressure. And definitely leaking a lot of fuel and oil. But yeah. I think at the moment it's like a three and a half cylinder. It's not quite three a and three quarters I go with. <laughs> and like you guys know, this used to be my mother's partner's blessing, so we don't really want to get rid of it. Hence Jamie's kind of holding on to it. I think Jamie thinks eventually I'm gonna give it to him for free. <laughs> Look at that smile everyone. <laughs> Jamie K, are you ready? Can you keep up with the pure might that, that is the party van too? That is the slowest I've ever seen you drive, I think. Really? Just now. I was on the phone. Legally, of course. Jim Jim, see you guys down in Chichester. You piss off! Not gonna lie, I've missed that. Party van one versus party van two. He's pulling away from me. Mother Party van two's quicker. Party van two, come on baby. He's taking the racing line. Man, party van two's quicker. Mother I'm flat to the floor. He did cheat though to be fair, and he's got a, he got a head start, the cheeky mother trucker. It says I'm too slow. Alright, wait till we get to the next dual carriageway. Bitch. Come on, oh, the human changing that gear, man. <laughs> Come on, my man, too. Recall, recall. Fourth gear, fourth gear. This is the fight of the champions. Ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five round two's quicker. We're taking it, everyone. It's a four. Oh, I hit the limiter. Shit. I hit the limiter. He's coming back. Fuck. I hit the limiter. Come on, Piper. Yeah, yeah. oh, we're going. We're pulling. We're pulling. Bye bye, Python! Yes! Yes! 
I think the only reason Jamie beat me in the first race is because there's now no gearbox in the van. I can literally hear him change the gear. It's like. <laughs> right, here we are at Total Custom Conversions. You can tell we're there. Oh, they've got a really cool EP3 track car. It's pretty sweet. They've got a Peugeot camper van in here and quite a few sort of transporters in there. Pretty cool, professional looking place. Oi, oi! Such Savaloys! So this is Rich. He's just moving a couple of cars for us, fist bump. Welcome to the channel, sir. Hey boy. That is one part of these lovelies. There they are up there. There's their website and their number if you want to give them a shout. Oh man, some of the stuff in here is literally next level. Welcome to the channel. Cheers, mate. What's the main sort of things you convert me? Because it mostly like transporters, transporters mainly. Yeah, um, we do any van. Any van, big vans. And we're getting into them more with the race, racing yeah. scene. You said you want to try and make some race vans for the yeah, next, yeah. next season. Yeah, that's it. Look at that, you've got yeah. monkey, monkey looking after the premises on the alarm system. <laughs> at the moment, you guys have got five transporters. You've got my van, which is over there. You've got this Transit, and you've got this Peugeot Box. Boxer as well. Boxer, mate. Yeah. And yeah. what is that? That's a bit of me, that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me the story behind this. K K20? Yeah. Look sick, man. Yeah. Seven hundred quid. Seven hundred quid. Last one. <laughs> Crazy, Cheapest man. one in the country. Yeah. It's mad to think how these have really kind of dropped the EP3s. I think they're kind of starting to come they're up a little. Starting right. up, yeah. yeah. Polycarbonate yeah. windows, yeah, roll do. cage, and flop dash as well. Posh. Yeah. What's the engine spec like? Standard K20. Yeah. yeah. It's just got a Group M air intake and a Miltec uh, exhaust manifold. Exhaust. Okay. Just like it's basic three, three, it's three inch, track friendly, so it's oh, like man. three silences. Yeah. Oh, are they posh, Rich? You got, you got are they covers or are they actual upholstery? Is it? They're called their leather, my man. What a beast. That is a proper, proper sick race van. What do you think, Sprinter? Yeah, sick, mate. Yeah, cool wheels, sidebars. Yeah. That's just like a, what, like a f extractor or yeah, fresh air vent like, or something? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Quick little look inside. Like I said, I haven't got all me bits and bobs in here yet, but this gives you a little idea of what she's like. Put the lights on. It's got a sky window yeah. up there. And then you've Point got another well. one here. So that's your toilet. That's your shower up there. So you can do a poo in the morning, then you can wash your bum afterwards with the shower. Various sort of um, like storage compartments up here. That's your little sofa, gas cooker. That's your sink. You've got your oven, more storage here. That's your fridge and freezer. And then there's a little drawer there just for a bit more storage. What's your first impression, Rich, of, yeah, the, of sick, the race van? Yeah, it's been done to a really nice standard. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's pimping. It needs a bit of your, a it's little pimping. bit more magic. Yeah. Pretty cool in the car park. They've got a transporter. They're about to do a load of work on here. Another one here. That's actually the roof for this transporter. If you look in there, it's missing the roof. They're actually just installing a solar panel here. A really, really trick transporter, which has got like a sort of top canopy. Super lovely bespoke covers, which they all make in-house. They've got a, um, they do CAD design and their own CNC machines. So they make all their own custom stuff. Oh, this is where the magic happens. I guess yeah. this is where you kind of do all your upholstery and stuff. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So you've got all your different threads here. Yeah. And that's like all your diamonds. Diamond stitch. Yeah. yeah. And then what's all this stuff here? This is like the work the work surfaces. That's uh, the floor. That's for the floor. Right, you lovelies. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Mr. Rich. Cheers, mate. Mr. Lukey. Thanks. See you guys in a few weeks. Yeah. Going back in the party van one. Carpet. Ah, it's like red carpet. Is that because I was coming? <laughs> Okay, happy day. Oh, and the ML sunglasses as well. It's a little bit dark at the moment, but look at how thick these are. Full carbon fiber. Over a year in development, and they're still not perfect. We are having a bit of a nightmare with the glass lenses and the carbon frames. Obviously, carbon's very strong. It's quite hard to stretch it, so we're having a little bit of an issue with the gaps on the lenses. But I will keep pushing with them, and I'll definitely get them out soon. But these are the latest samples, and they are absolutely pimptastic. You've got the little ML logo on there, beautiful metal ML logos on the side, if you can just about see that. There's also an ML laser etched into the lens, and yeah, like I said, full carbon fiber. Chunky as fuck. Anyhow, that was pretty nice. There were a couple of really nice lads, weren't they, Rich, yeah, and, Rich and Luke? Yeah. Big up those two. Little update on my cars as well. A lot of you will know from my socials, the black S15 is now gone. That was sold about a year ago, and I've now got an S15 2JZ which will be running a Samson S sequential box as well. I bought it from JDM Garage. They managed to source it for me very cheap. 
S15s have now gone absolutely crazy. Two Jay-Zs have gone crazy. I do need to kind of really nestle down and do a few little bits to the car and develop it. The Civic we have got coming up. The car is currently at Gordon Street Racers in Leicester. He hasn't been very well recently. Over the last couple of months, he's had quite a few bugs. Um, but he's assured me over the next month he's going to try and get his teeth into it and we'll head up there and do some content. Jamie K, absolute legend, really good friend of mine. I'm going to chuck his Insta down here. Make sure you give him a follow. He's been kind of travelling all around Europe with me and doing all sorts of crazy shit with me over the last year. So big up, Jay. Proper legend. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. We did actually, there wasn't a lot of John action in this one. We did have some van street racing. So that was pretty cool. 2-1, yeah. just saying. No, it's 2-1 to me. No, no I let you go on yeah, break. Yeah, yeah, well, we're watching the video. I definitely won the second one. Though. <laughs> bye from me. Bye from my more better-looking, good-looking counterpart, Jamie Kay. And we look forward to seeing you lovely soon.